In Z cubes, you can construct a Pascal triangle of any size by simply saying Pascal triangle and giving a size. So in this case, we have given 10. So it's giving us a Pascal triangle of size 10. Now we have done some formatting so you can see it more clearly. But really, if you just simply ask for a Pascal triangle, it's going to give you a triangle like this. So if it's formatted, it looks like this. Let's explain what a Pascal triangle is. So each element that you see, each number, is a sum of the previous two numbers in the previous row. So let's take 35 is going to be the sum of 20 and 15 above it. Likewise, 56 is going to be the sum of 35 and 21. Now, another series called the Fibonacci series, it looks like this. It starts from 0 and every element is basically the sum of the previous two elements. So if you take if you take 3, for example, it's a sum of 1 and 2. And if you take 10 here, it's a sum of 377 and 233. And likewise, if you take 34, it's a sum of 21 and 13 and so forth. Now, Fibonacci series is a very well-known series. And what we're going to do today is to see how Fibonacci series and Pascal triangle are related with each other. So now let's create a Pascal triangle of size 100. So here is a Pascal triangle and here is a Fibonacci series, both of size 100. Now, I want to show you how the two series and triangles are related. So if you add these numbers across like that, so the first series is 1, second series is 1, third series is 1 plus 1, that is 2, and you can see 1, 1, 2. The next should be 3. So that is the sum of 1 and 2 here. The next one will be 1, 3, and 1. That's going to be 5. Next is expected to be 8. So let's see if you're going to get that. 1, 4, and 3. That's going to be 8. The next one is going to be 1, 5, 6, and 1. So it's going to be 6 and 13. So that's a 13. So 21. So that's the next. So if you do these, what we call as shallow diagonals, you will see that they add up to the, the Fibonacci series. So to get to this number, what we can do is we can write a little program that can go through the, it looks like this, basically B is the array that we created with the Pascal triangle. B is Pascal triangle. So we can take through a loop. So for each of the rows, we will do a summation using this piece of code, which will be on the wiki so that it will, for any row, like let's say you take this row, it's going to add 1, 6, 10, and 1. So it's it'll go and do it in the right diagonal manner uh, using this piece of code. And uh, if you do that, you will see that I have pretty much regenerated the uh, Fibonacci series. So let me see if I can generate the Fibonacci again. So you can see that the summation that you get here, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. You can see 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. It's the same sequence from both, both tactics. So that hopefully uh, makes it clear that these two are related to each other. The both Fibonacci and Pascal triangles are related to each other. Mm -hmm.